Adobe has just announced a new generative AI tool, which is specifically for marketers. It's called Adobe Gen Studio. Today, I wanna to cover what it's doing, how it works, what generative AI features and tools are actually in there. If this is hype, this is useful. Um, let's get into all of that. So they made a big announcement. They did a big press release and a, and a big tour on this, and they have their website live where you can go check this out right now under Adobe Experience Cloud. But it's essentially what they're saying is this is gonna help you to accelerate your marketing um, and they have a bunch of new interesting features. Honestly, the biggest thing I'm seeing here as far as how this is really integrating AI is that it integrates with Adobe Firefly's AI image generator. And when you're talking about marketing, right, you're talking about creating um, assets for ads, primarily in creatives. And so this is, I think, a big central component of it. And really, to me, it feels kind of like a platform which is you know, perhaps an amazing platform for um, marketing tools and, and stuff. And I'll show you some of what they're doing, right? They're talking about social media, display advertising, email campaigns, and websites are coming soon. Um, but really, you know, the main things, I think social media ads and emails, like really it's, uh, it's using generative AI for all of that. So I think some of this could be like text generation, but mostly I think I see a lot of this being image generation, probably in the future, they'll, they'll, um, bake video generation into this as well. So let's look at, uh, I, I wanna give you a quick overview. They have a, a 40 second video they recorded on this, but I think it's kind of interesting. So I'll show that to you real quick. Your content is critical. You need it on email, web, social, and beyond. And your teams need it fast. Introducing Adobe Gen Studio and the power of generative AI. Instantly create on-brand content and seamlessly activate across apps and publishers. Easily find, manage, and reuse creative assets. Analyze global performance to see what's resonating. Use real-time insights and adjust content immediately to boost ROI. Unite and accelerate your content supply chain with Adobe Gen Studio. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. Um, essentially, the big thing here and and like you know i looked at some kind of demos of this and how this is actually working but essentially they have this platform they allow you to get on the platform um and Generative. on the platform you're going to be able to kind of go and create different assets um the big thing i saw was like they have like kind of an asset library component meaning like if you generate a bunch of assets um they could go into a library your campaign manager could go like approve them for example um, and then once they're approved, you can kind of have those embedded into ads. You can go and generate new images right on the platform. Um, you can search through all of the content. Um, and then I think they have a bunch of other things that you'd expect with a, with these, right? They have a lot of these marketing tools as well. I believe they own Marketo. Um, but, you know, they have uh, calendars for scheduling out your content. And, and uh, you know, you can actually go and create, I think, Facebook ads like directly on there and then submit them for approval to your manager, et cetera. So it's pretty cool. Um, I think the biggest generative AI aspect of this is just that it can generate um, images. They show an image of like what looks like a video. So I'm not really sure if they, if this is probably something they're planning on doing more in the future. One other thing that I think is cool um, is the fact that they allow you to use a lot of Adobe Photoshop and all these other Adobe uh, tools inside of the platform. So specifically, um, they have three kind of elements to their whole platform. There's like workflow and planning. So you can use things like Workfront, Experience Manager Assets, and Frame.io. Then you have creation and production. This is really where you're starting to see a lot of these generative AI tools, specifically their Adobe Firefly image generator, um, and then a handful of other things, including Frame.io. And then, of course, activation and delivery, and that's really um, putting, your, putting your ads out there and stuff. So... Something interesting um, that was said about this um, by um, Aja, who is the company's SVP for its experience cloud platform, said, I think the majority of customers we talk to are incredibly excited about Gen AI, but also have a lot of trepidation about Gen AI um, in a lot of different ways around, you know, hey, what's the status of my data? What data am I using? The status of the models. Um, and so... Amit also said, you know, that's resulted in, um, and we just ran a survey on this, a lot of them are in just kind of this almost siloed experimentation mode with it. I think the opportunity for Adobe is how do we bring the more, the more uh, how do we bring that more directly with the right security safeguards 
and with all the right compliance into the tools that these people are using. So really, I think what they're trying to do is people are interested in this, obviously, and they're trying to bring it into one platform. My only skepticism with all of this is like, this is very branded. If you look at their website, like it is very uh, branded as, you know, Adobe Gen Studio, obviously generative AI gen is kind of short for that. It's like generative AI studio. It's like, it's just like a marketing studio and it's really useful and it's really cool and you can generate images in there. But like, if you just threw an API to Dolly or you just threw an API to mid journey, assuming they ever launch one or you, you just get one of the bootlegged versions that people have created, like, would you call this an AI product? Now, obviously Adobe has created their own AI models and, and Firefly is an actual AI model. So like they, they get a little bit of clout there in a sense that yes, they have created their own AI models. I just think it's a little bit, I don't know. It, it's a little bit interesting to me once we start seeing like an entire platform labeled as like a uh, gen studio. It feels very like generative AI studio when it's just like, it's really a marketing platform that has a, a useful generative AI element, but it's not like generative AI, I don't know, at its core, in my opinion. And, and they would definitely disagree with me. I think if you read their website, um, it, it says, you know, we're, we're generative AI first and they kind of go over how, um, you know, they have like this, the creation and you can create and they have a content hub and then you can create your campaigns and you have like activations with all of the third party Adobe experience, cloud third party apps, which, okay, that does have more AI in it. So I will give them credit for that. And then of course, insights, which I didn't see a ton of ways that they were um, in like embedding AI into the actual insights that they were giving you. But again, I could be, uh, you know, misinformed on that specifically. All in all, I think this is an incredible product. My only skepticism is if we label everything AI when it's kind of just has some AI features in it, but whatever, that's uh, another conversation for another day. All in all, like this is a really amazing product. And if you are in marketing, no doubt this is going to be a very valuable product for you. So, you know, hats off to Adobe for making, you know, something like this um, for, you know, using all of their, their uh, AI models. I think something that's interesting and exciting is like when we start seeing companies like Google create Gemini or Facebook create um, Llama, like there's all these big companies creating these AI models and it's like, oh, fun to play with. I think it's actually really interesting when they start creating products and embedding their own models into them. You know, the idea I think should be that they would create an API so that anyone can go and embed um, these models into, into their tools. That I think would be great. And Adobe has shown that they're actually planning on doing that. So recently Adobe announced um, that they, their Adobe Firefly service is going to make over 20 new generative and creative APIs available to developers. So this is obviously something that they're focusing on. Um, and a lot of these are like uh, background removers or tools that kind of embed with Photoshop and, and other things. So I think Adobe's going in the right direction with this. I'm excited to see not only just this platform, but some of the other generative AI tools they come out with. And I'll definitely keep you up to date on all of that. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you, um, you want to follow the podcast. Really appreciate you and hope you have an amazing rest of your day.